Welcome back! Gabriel has been bitten by a wolf, which is a bad thing in any case. Even worse, because it's a werewolf. And it seems he's being kept in the Rat House dungeon for safekeeping for the moment. Although I guess it will take some time before he actually turns into a wolf. Still, better safe than sorry. Let's see if we can talk to him. Grace? I'm right here. I fucked up. I know. It's okay. It's not okay. Not even close. How'd you find me anyway? I ordered a deed of entitlement to issue to the Black Wolf. It came in yesterday, and Von Glauer's name was on it. I threatened Werner Huber's life unless he told me where you were. Yeah, well... Unfortunately, your cavalry arrived too late this time. Well, if you hadn't been such an idiot refusing to tell me where you were, I might have been able to save your little butt days ago! Maybe I'd rather have it chewed off than have to deal with your gloating. You ever think of that? Forget it. We have to deal with things the way they are. Do you remember what you kept talking about on the way over here? That vision of Ludwig? Yeah. Believe it or not, it may help us out. I'm gonna go check on some things. Mr. Smith will watch over you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Are these the beginnings of the personality transformation, as described in the Lycanthropy book? Or just Gabriel being his usual self? It's kinda hard to tell with him. There's also a bird. That bird seems to like it here. Get a closer look. I can't reach the bird through the bars. Apparently reaching the bird is something we want. But we can't right now. For whatever reason. From here it looks like it should be easy to reach, but apparently uh, it's further away than it looks. Alright, um... Well, Gabriel obviously didn't send us a letter, but let's check the post office anyway. You never know. Grüß Gott, Frau Nagimoa. Grüß Gott. Haben Sie etwas für mich? Nicht für Sie, aber für den Schattenjäger. For Gabriel. What is it? I'll take it to him. Ich bring a S to him, okay? Yeah. Okay. I guess the whole town is a bit upset about what happened to the Schattenjäger. Let's see what we got. A letter from von Glower. Should be interesting to see what he has to say. After the events at the hunting trip. from Friedrich von Glauer, indeed. Let's see. It's a letter from von Glauer, and he sent the Ritter talisman back, too. Well, that was nice of him. Gabriel, I know you are very ill right now. The change is always painful. I went through it myself when I was only 12, and I did not even know what was happening to me. I'm sorry I'm not there to help you. But I have a pretty clear sense 
that you would not welcome my presence. You are safe in Rittersburg. For now, that is enough. Let me speak then of the future. You hate me now. I know this. But I have some hope that by the pass of the second moon, when the sickness wanes and the blood has inflamed the greater part of you, you will see things differently. You will need me then, and I think you will want me then. It is for hope of this that I did not have you destroyed the night you were bitten by Vonzell. I could have done. You were passed out for hours at the lodge. It would have been a simple thing to wake the men, show them Vonzell's corpse, and make up a story that would enrage them enough to kill you. I did not. Let that be proof of my true desire for friendship with you. I have desired companionship for more years than you have lived. I have even very rarely taken the risk and changed others. But the blood was always too much for the brain and my chosen one ended up dead. Or mad. This is why I started the Hunt Club. It was my idea that if I could first indoctrinate men's minds to the religion of tooth and claw, that they then might be prepared for the change. As you have seen, it did not work. Moncel was the best of the lot. If he had turned out well, I would have taken the others. But there's no point in even trying with them now. But you are different. You are a Ritter. Your blood is already supernatural. Yes, I know of your family. I have studied much over these long years. When we met, I felt somehow that you would not be destroyed by the gift. You have an enormous streak of the beast in you. And you are innately strong and occult. You will be powerful and beautiful in the change. I am sure of it. I did not intend for it to happen so soon and in such a way. But perhaps fate has its own reason. But how confused you must be. You may feel I used you to dispose of Vontel. I did. He had to be taken care of and you obligingly showed up. What was I to do? I am too old not to have learned at least this much about the light. You cannot shut it out. Better to let it in and let it simply dim to adjust to the relative brightness inside. Think well on these things as your body adjusts. Think about meeting me in Munich in two months' time. We can leave Germany if you wish and go anywhere you like. I will teach you how to hunt how to live safe and well. You can feel the night wind on your face, taste the heartbeat of the kill beneath your jaws. It is glorious. Much more so than the priestly lie the Schattenjäger offers. Don't confuse yourself with ideas of good and evil. Nature shows us that there are no such distinctions. You and I both inherited something from our fathers. Is your legacy any less of a curse or blessing than mine? Join me. Yours, Friedrich. Very interesting. Clears up a few things. I guess Ludwig was one of the ones he tried to change, but who was driven mad by the uh, change. And therefore tried to get rid of uh, Friedrich, or fell out with him, with uh, Louis, as he called him. Um, let's check in the guest hall for a second, because I think Mr. Smith is here, and I'm right. Mr. Smith is not, because he's in the dungeon, actually. We um, haven't seen him there, but uh, we'll see him there later. Werner looks about as interested in talking to me as I am in talking to him. He feels pretty bad about Gabriel. Yeah, and you apparently threatened uh, his life. 
I guess that can't have gone over well. Let's see if Werner would be uh, intimidated by Grace. No idea how she managed that. Let's talk to Mrs. Smith. Sit down, Grace. Gabriel seems awfully sick. Of course he does. His body's fighting that blood something fierce. You know, dear, I wouldn't count on Gabriel being pleasant or even cooperative. He is quite literally not himself. You think I shouldn't really let it bother me that he's being such a butthead? Well, don't worry, he's always like that. It will get worse. Do you think that we really need to keep him locked up in there? It seems so cruel. He'll be more at ease knowing he's locked up in there and can't harm anyone if he does change. I suppose so. His only chance now is the destruction of his maker. I know. And that, of course, means Von Glower, because Von Glower is the Alpha Wolf, as we already determined. Emil will watch over Gabriel in the dungeon? Yes, dear. Besides, you have other things to attend to, don't you? Yes, the opera. And the diagram, I have to get them. Do you think you'll be able to do that by yourself? Just watch me. Do you know anything about El Totting? Yes, it's a pilgrimage shrine. Emil and I have been there. But I didn't know about the hard urns at the time. It's one of those places that vibrates with spiritual energy. It's very strong. I think they had the first miracle in, oh, about the middle of the 1700s. But the Black Madonna herself is much older than that. It's one of the places we'll have to visit, um, because one of the uh, scrolls we need is put in with Ludwig's heart, as we saw in the uh, vision. The others are all in uh, Neuschwanstein, so we'll have to go back there, too. There's something I think you should see. Oh, my. Has Gabriel seen this? No. Well, my dear, I understand your reluctance, but... It's his karma, you know? It's his choice. He's the son, you know, von Glauer. He's the son of von Rolick. Yes, I think you're right. And he wants Gabriel. So it seems. But that doesn't mean Gabriel wants that life. He didn't ask to be bitten. <sighs> you don't know him like I do. Running on all fours wouldn't be a big stretch. I won't tell you the choice will be an easy one. But it's a battle he must fight. All you can do is believe in him. That's all you can do. Now you be careful. Uh, something tells me Grace won't be satisfied with just believing in Gabriel. I think he wants a bit more of a hands-on approach. There also appears to be a bread basket on the table. I think I'll steal one of these rolls. Please do, dear. You're thin as a rail. <laughs> Let's see. Got a dinner roll. I picked up a roll at the Gustav, but I've lost my appetite again. Oh. You don't want to eat? What the hell? How did I manage to go outside by doing that? Okay, apparently we can't uh, eat the roll, but maybe we can do something else with it. We'll find out in the next video.